Ah, oh, man. I don't know what's more worse. This virus or Animal Crossing sucking up all the time in my day. Like, the game is addicting. It's really, really, really addicting. And I just can't pull myself away from it. But I do have to pull myself away from this game because we got a new chapter of One Piece out, guys. And we finally, finally get to see who are the main, like, top guys in Kaido's little army. So for longest, I've been calling Kaido's pirates the Beast Pirates, but instead they've been called the Animal Kingdom Pirates, which is understandable because, you know, every like, I guess you could say general or whatever they call themselves is, you know, based on some type of animal like X Drake is, I think he's a T-Rex. Page one is model after a dinosaur. Kaido turns into a dragon. King turns into um, a pterodactyl. Queen, I think I can't na name the dinosaur, but I know it turn he turns into a dinosaur. Jack turns into a mammoth, and you know everybody has a you know a Zoan fruit, so you know they all turn into animals, which is pretty dope. I do love that about this anime because they got their human forms then they could turn all the way into that animal like like you've seen page one do then you got the hybrid halfway version of them where they're half t-rex half human and that's where you really see them being in action but that's not what we're here for today guys because the toby ropo toby rompo ropo rompo however you want to say it, has been revealed and these guys I'm looking forward to seeing these guys in action. And the one thing I can say about this group is I didn't think we were going to see Page One in his human form at all. But we do know that Page One and this girl next to him named Yulti, Yulti, I think I'm saying her name wrong, but I'm guessing they're related. Then you see this guy right here with like these really jagged teeth. I'm thinking that he might be like some type of shark. Maybe he might be a fish man or something. I don't know. But what i'm saying is with this is this the Toby robo is pretty much i would get like major kaido's group as the military and how military like certain um, military branches have like their brigades like for instance i was in the army and where i was stationed at you know you have first brigade second brigade uh sustainment brigade uh cavalry all that stuff and that's how i see kaido's groups in no way or shape or form because you have Kaido, who is the head honcho, who runs, you know, the Beast Pirates, the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Then you got his three that are under him. I guess they call them the All-Stars. And the All-Stars are King, Queen, and Jack. You've you seen King, Queen, and Jack. You've seen King turn into a pterodactyl in an anime recently. So, then there's a Topi Rompo. And I think these guys are like, you know, they're up there with the All-Stars, but they're not up there with the All-Stars. And... The one thing is I didn't see Hawk Hawkins on nowhere on on this page at all. So maybe Hawkins is not part of the Topi Robo. Maybe he has his own little division that Kaido gave to him so that he could run the show on, on that side. But the cool thing about it is, and I'm giving y'all a heads up on this one, all right? I, mean, I should have said that at the beginning of the video, but be ready for all the Drake references and Drake uh, jokes that I'm going to make throughout the rest of this arc because every time x drake pops up on you know pops up on my screen in the anime or in the comic and the manga i'm gonna make a joke trust i got jokes for days when it comes down to x drake like dead ass but back to the tumpy robo these guys look like you know how one piece is some well, at least one of the characters gotta look goofy as fuck and the one with the really really jagged sharp ass teeth he looks goofy as fuck there's always gonna be that one that looks goofy there's always gonna be that one that looks real serious then there's always gonna be that one that's kind of you know borderline like wtf and whatnot so i'm we already know what x drake and page one's you know zone fruits are you know like i said x drake i think he's a t-rex and page one i think he's a t-rex as well but drake does his better now we've seen page one's actually in action in action for real for real in the anime because he fought black leg sanji and sanji used his power ranger morpher so he could fight page one but the only reason why i think he used it is only because of the fact that he wanted to keep his identity you know a secret because if people found out we knew Zoro, Frankie, and uh, Usopp knew who was in that in that costume, but everybody else in Wano don't need to know because once people find out in Wano that oh, 
you know, that's the dude that made the uh, soup and stuff for us. You know, they're going to probably hurt everybody in that town. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing all the other Tompa Rompo uh, characters fight. Like this right here. Like I said, I probably might have skipped over some. Some of them might have been in action already. And I might not have caught on to it. Because I had just got back into reading the manga and watching the anime again. Because, you know, like I said, One Piece is long as fuck. So you can't sit there and tell me that you ain't stopped watching that shit for a good hot ass minute, then come back to it. Like, I've not met one person that has not done that when it came to One Piece. But when it comes down to it, though, Drake and one, um, Page One, we've already seen what they can do. But we can sit, probably sit here and guess about everybody else. They're going to probably be some type of dinosaur, something that's extinct at the moment. And what I'm, I'm saying at the moment, but all dinosaurs are fucking dead. We already got a pterodactyl. We already got uh, that dinosaur with a really, really, really long neck. If you ever watched The Land Before Time, Littlefoot, whatever the fuck Littlefoot was, that's that's what Queen is. Queen can turn into that. Um, Jack turns into a mammoth. X Drake can turn into a T Rex. Page One can turn into a T Rex. The women. Uh, uh, I really can't think of no dinosaurs right off the rip. I mean, maybe a Velociraptor or some shit, mm, maybe uh, a Stegosaurus. I think, yeah, we haven't seen a Stegosaurus yet because I'm pretty sure a lot of them. I think the only way you can be on Kaido's team is if you got some dinosaur based, you know, devil fruit zone fruit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all I've been seeing is dinosaurs, like extinct dinosaurs. And even though Kaido is a dragon, dragons are pretty much made up. You know, he he's still, you know, the king of the beast pirates, animal kingdom pirates. And I like that, too. That's that's the cool part about this manga, this part of Wano. So I'm I know what's going on. But at the same time, though, I just want them to hurry up and get to the fights because I want to see who Sanji going to fight. I want to see we already know who Luffy going to fight. But also remember this, too. It's just not, you know, the Straw Hats fighting Kaido's people as well. I think Big Mom, because, you know, Big Mom is there. And Big Mom might pull a fast one. She'd be all like, all right, fuck you, Kaido. You about to scrap with me and my kids as well. So it's going to be an all-out war. Wano might not be there at the end of this. And I think Kaido might finally get his wish. And that is to die. Because remember, in the main and anime and the manga, of course, Kaido has been captured six times. Or I think more than that. He's been, they've been trying to ex, they ex try to execute him multiple times to fail. I don't know how this dude keeps getting out of prison, though. I, I don't get that. Like, if you can't kill this dude and y'all might as well just keep him locked up some house away, but he keeps getting free. Like, they never explained that part. But this, but you also got to remember, too, he even tried to take his own life. He got all the way up to, uh, I think it was like Sky, uh, Sky Island, I believe. And he jumped from Sky Island all the way down to you know earth and i don't know how high sky island is from earth itself but boy he made a big ass crater and it just so happened and this 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 shit was funny to me it just so happened eustace the kid hawkins and x drake and that dumb looking character who turns his body parts into instruments i guess half of the worst generation pirates, the supernovas, happen to be where Kaido landed. Kaido gets up and looks at everybody like, who the fuck are you guys? Then says, hey, I want to start a war. And he starts just slugging it out. Next thing you know, X Drake working with him. Hawkins working with him. Eustace the Kid is locked up in his dungeon. So a lot of stuff has happened since then. And we I think they said how I think they said that. Eustace has been locked. They I think they said it, that he's been locked up for a while. But 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 back to bigger matters, and it's a Tampa Ropo and also the numbers. So how did how are we gonna end out this video today? We're gonna talk about Tampa Ropo, fi my final remarks with them, then talk about the numbers thing. You know, send y'all on your merry way since y'all came here for this one piece reading. So with a Tampa Toby Ropo, dang it, that's, that's a tongue tie. It's not tongue tie. See, look, I'm getting tongue twister. See, because saying his name over and over and over just really messes with you. But the Toby Rompo, pretty much, you already know how anime works. It's an anime trope that everybody knows. Once you get a look glance at the main bad guy, you always know that the main bad guy has underlings. 
and them underlings are probably stupid fuck as strong like stupid as fuck strong and we already know that a fight's gonna like break out and them fights gonna last probably a good five six at seven episodes probably last as long as the goku frieza fight but i feel like that's what's gonna happen with this manga wano's gonna go on for a, i'm gonna throw it out there. i think wano's gonna go on for the rest of 2020 a little bit into 2021 probably if they keep doing like they're doing it now uh because we don't get another chapter until may 11th but as like i said as time goes on this arc probably won't end until the end of next year because thanks to the whole virus you know probably they're putting stuff on hiatus for a little bit so but honestly i'm looking forward to seeing these guys fight in the anime for damn sure because i really want to see what x dre can really do all right he could probably do the tootsie slide on zoro and you know end him in a heartbeat because we all know zoro is he he's down he'll fight anybody that has a sword and x drake has one i think x drake gonna have to have, take on two people at once because i feel like he just think he does he think he's shit you know he you know he got the hotline bling so he, you know he ain't nobody running up in his spot but now we got to talk about the numbers don't mind the thunder and lightning in the background guys it's raining pretty hard outside but let's talk about the numbers now these guys come out of fucking nowhere okay i'm has me thinking like kaido got some that dude got some pull because he got everybody, man. He got Marines working for him. He had Dolphy. He had Don Flamigo working for him. This dude got some pull, bro. I'm looking at Luffy like, do you sure you want to fight this dude? Because he got pull. This dude got, they call themselves, either they call themselves the numbers or we're giving them that name. But the fact is they're giants. They told us they're giants. And they stay on some another island that, inhabited by giants but they're stupid strong and that's all we pretty much got got a little sh shadows of you know silhouettes of them and then we go back to the toby rompo and that was the end of the chapter now, like i said may 11 comes around that's when the next chapter comes out same thing with my hero academia so what can i say is going to happen next later on down the line they're going to drag out this whole get to Kaido's mansion to fight. I'm pretty sure three, four, five volumes down the line. They're finally going to start. Somebody going to start scrapping. And I think page one is going to be going after, you know, Black Lead Sanji because, you know, he wants revenge. You know, yo, he left page one laid out in the middle of a town. So he going to be all like, nah, we're not doing that. I want my rematch. X Drake is probably going to go toe to toe with either Brooke or Zoro, like I said, he's gonna do the Tussie slide on somebody. And I, I I'm giving it to Zoro. Because Zoro does need to fight somebody with a sword and he happens to have one. Now, of course, Nami and um Robin, they don't really do much fighting. But when they do, I'm guessing they can go toe to toe with one of the women in this and and no Toby Rompo. And of course, you know, chopper can do more fighting Usopp does because you know chopper got his little beast mode he got his human mode he got his reindeer mode so he could probably fight like the the really sharp teeth looking member of the group then i think that's oh we got who's who because who's who need to fight somebody like i said i think there's enough people here in the toby rompo that can fight one of uh the straw hats we already know that luffy's going straight for kaido and they still didn't announce who the fuck Kaido's son was. So maybe he's running the numbers. Maybe he's part of Toby Rompo. We don't know yet. And, I'm, and the suspense is killing me. I really want to know who is his son. But hey, he probably could be a number. One of the two. He could probably be a part of the Marines. Like I said, One Piece, they keep saying that this is probably leading up to the ending of One Piece. And if that's the case, then by all means, that means he really, that means that Kaido and Big Mom are getting taken down. And the only last Yonko that's left is Shanks, which I believe Shanks will pop up at Wano, and Blackbeard, which I also think it's going to be a Yonko party because, hey, Black Blackbeard going to be there. Shanks going to be there. Big Mom's there. Kaido going to be there. He's he throwing a house party. And everybody invited, I guess, at this point. Because, hey, there's another thing that was said before I close out this video. And I think the female, I think her name is uh, Yolti. The one that's sitting next to page one. She sat there and asked. I think it's either her or the other woman. Sat there and said, is Kaido stupid? Maybe. Is he, is he stupid? I think that they're trying to show us that Kaido has lost a step. 
ever since he's gotten to where he is. They said when he was younger, that dude had it all. He he was fast on his feet, I'm guessing. All, you know, so when they made this comment, I'm like, has he, have they caught Kaido slipping? Is something wrong? What happened? We don't know. We're going to have to find out later on down in the manga. But, guys, that's all I got for you. It's about to start raining hard, and I don't want y'all to hear that in the background. But other than that, keep it locked here. We're going to have more stuff coming out later on in the week. But other than that, peace.